good morning students how are you all today i am here uh, for, for online education once again okay now today we are going to discuss anika <coughs> anika in cloud computing anika in cloud computing okay <coughs> anika is very important topic normally it comes in examination okay so let's start see uh, what is aneka aneka is a market oriented cloud development and management platform with rapid application development and workload distribution capabilities okay what is it is market oriented cloud development okay aneka is an integrated middleware package what is it is middle <coughs> ware package okay so aneka is an integrated middleware package which allows you to seamlessly build and manage an interconnected network in addition to accelerating development deployment and management of distributed applications using microsoft dotnet framework you must have studied dotnet framework okay in dotnet language right <coughs> on these networks so it is market oriented since it allows you to build schedule provision and monitor result using pricing accounting qos sla services in private and or public network environments okay qos <coughs> quality of service and service level agreement okay So Aneka is a workload distribution and management platform that accelerates application in Microsoft .NET framework environment. Okay, guys. Some of the key advantages of Aneka over the over other grid or cluster based workstation distribution solutions include first uh, rapid deployment tools, rapid deployment. main tools okay and framework and frame work second thing is that provisioning based on qos and sla provisioning provisioning based on qos and sla okay third third advantage support of multiple programming and application environment multiple programming and application atmosphere shan atmosphere okay <coughs> okay next advantage is uh, built on top of microsoft dotnet framework with support for linux atmosphere fourth linux atmosphere okay next next <coughs> simultaneous support of multiple runtime environment what multiple runtime atmosphere multiple runtime environment or multiple runtime atmosphere okay see in aneka we have to focus on three uh, three things first build <coughs> second accelerate and third thing is that manage <coughs> okay build accelerate and manage okay see uh, aneka includes a uh, if you talk about build aneka includes a uh, sdk as dk you know what is sdk sdk stands for software development kit which includes a combination of apis and tools to enable you to express your application aneka also allows you to build different runtime environments and build new applications okay so <coughs> so it means sdk apis and tools apis and tools okay 
Now, if we talk about Accelerate, <coughs> Aneka supports rapid development and deployment of application in multiple run-in runtime environments. Aneka uses physical machines as much as possible to achieve maximum utilization in local environment. Okay, so we have to focus. Uh, Sorry, Aneka supports rapid development and deployment of applications in multiple runtime environment. Okay, next manage. <coughs> Management includes a GUI. You know GUI? One is CUI and second is GUI. GUI stands for graphical user interface. The definition of <coughs> GUI as you know, what you see is what you get. Okay. So, uh, <coughs> management includes a uh, GUI and APIs to set up, monitor, manage, and maintain remote and global Aneka compute clouds. Aneka also has an accounting mechanism and management priorities and scalability based on SLA and QoS, which enables dynamic provisioning. Okay, so it provides so it provides SLA QoS, which enables dynamic provisioning okay so <clears throat> so these are the uh, basic thing in aneka built accelerate and manage okay now if we talk about uh, uh, aneka architecture okay if we talk about aneka architecture <coughs> uh, aneka If we talk about Aneka architecture, okay. First of all, we have to discuss uh, execution services. Execution services. Okay. Execution services. It contains independent bakes of tasks, distribution, uh, distributed threads, and map reduce. Okay. So you know, uh, distributed threads, distributed threads. Threads are uh, small programs. Okay, threads are small programs. Okay, see, uh, you must have studied uh, multi-threading concept in Java. Okay, so uh, uh, threads are small, sm uh, small programs. Okay, and lightweight process. Right. Next, second thing is that foundation services. Foundation services, uh, it contains membership, resource, reservation, storage, licensing, and accounting. Okay. Third thing is that fabric services. <coughs> fabric services. Fabric services, uh, it contains uh, hardware uh, profiling and dynamic resource provisioning. Okay. And if we talk about applications, uh, deployment and management, okay, it has SDK, okay, I told you earlier, APIs and tools and management tools, interface and APIs. What? Management tools, management, management, it contains tools, interface, and APIs APIs okay application programming interface okay <clears throat> so uh, this is uh, actually overview of uh, Aneka architecture okay see uh, <clears throat> I have I have uh, some typical Aneka some typical Aneka cloud uh, deployment you can see over here So, if we talk about a common deploy, uh, deployment of Aneka is presented in this figure. An Aneka based cloud is uh, constituted by a set of interconnected resources that are dynamically modified according to the user needs by using resource virtualization or by harnessing the spare CPU cycles of desktop machine. If the development Sorry, if the deployment identifies a private cloud, all the resources are in house, for example, within the enterprise. Okay. 
the deployment is extended by adding publicly available resources on demand or by interacting with other Anika public clouds providing computing resources connected over the internet okay so you can see uh, <clears throat> this is a typical Aneka cloud deployment okay so th this is all about uh, Aneka normally this question comes in examination okay so I hope uh, you must have got knowledge thank you very much